I'll be straight. I just got some ice on. That was that looked painful. Like, how were you feeling before that happened? Like, how did you think you were able to play today against going up against someone? Obviously, you know. Uh, I thought playing good. I about to dunk that. I about to lie. I was really about to dunk that, and I missed my ankle. But it'll be it'll be fine. It's just a little sprain. Um, the, the opportunity to get to go up against someone like that. I know you've been at some pretty elite camps lately and you've, you've been playing that level of talent, but how did you think until the end, how do you think you did against going against him? Uh, I think I did pretty good. Uh, I did. Uh, I think we played the better team, uh, but uh, I think we did pretty good. I mean, you've been on the national stage over the last few months. I mean, where do you... Did you stack up as you expected to, you know, on a national stage, or how has that been for you? How have you grown your game, I guess, with all the national camps and things like that? Uh, I feel like I deserved it. I've been working a lot throughout the summer and throughout last year, so I feel like it was going to come sooner or later, so my day is, like, came sooner than I thought, so it was good. What, what part of your game has grown over the course of, you know, over the past few months, seeing that level of competition and, and, and facing all of that? Just being more versatile, being doing everything on the court that I need me to do. If I can't shoot, then go inside. If I can't go inside and shoot, just doing everything I need to do. But then you get Nagy, the top 30 at that camp. What was what was going through your mind when you hear I'm in the top 30 at this prestigious camp? Uh, I felt pretty good. I didn't play as well as I, I should have. I feel like I played pretty de decent, though, but uh, I felt pretty good about it. How about the last weekend of EYDL? It seemed like the rim was like a mile wide for you. Everything was going in. Just what, what was going through in your mind is you guys you went in, you went four and one as a team. Just yeah. everything you guys accomplished in that weekend. Uh, it was good. I, we wanted to come in and go 5-0. That was our goal. So we walked in, worked hard on it, practiced before. But uh, we went 4-1, came a little short, but it was still good for us. When you have a spring and you have a period like you've had where, like you said, things just kind of keep going and going, what does that feel like? So when you're getting all these invites and you just keep climbing and more and more people are calling, like what, what is it like to go through that? Uh, it feels good. It just shows me I got to work hard and get better every day to get higher and higher to where I need to be at. When we were talking to Xavier, he was saying that like he felt like there's times he's maybe been ready to narrow things down and then like more schools enter and more people call. Like has it been a little bit of that for you too? Or it's like maybe you kind of have some things figured out and more schools keep entering the picture? Uh yeah, a little bit. I feel like I, I try well it's kinda already narrowed down a little bit. Um but I try to like put a list out and more schools contact me and call me and stuff like that. But hopefully I still do it after PCN, that's my goal. Is that exciting or is that stressful to, to keep adding to that offer list and keep getting that attention? Uh, I want to say it's stressful because um, I'm used to it now. A lot of coaches call me and stuff like that. Uh, I think it's very, I'm very grateful for it and blessed for it. What do the next couple of weeks look like for you? Um, I think we got two more team camps this weekend. We got Dan and Xavier. And then uh, I think we just do workouts. Uh, all week and then what is next Friday? 17th? Uh, today 12th is my this Sunday yeah 17th next Friday so I go to Michigan State uh, next week and then. Yeah. What, are you, what are you looking for when you like as you start to continue those official visits and things like that what kinds of things are on your mind whether it's talking to coaches talking to players and things like that uh, just seeing their vibe from the coaches see how they react to me um, seeing how I could fit there uh, play, uh, play a style and everything like that and I'm sure you've been asked this a bunch already, but like, I mean, your relationship with Ohio State has it remained consistent. What is your, what has it been like with Chris Holtman and Jake Deaver and all those guys? Uh, it's been great. I got a great relationship with them. Um, they always been great to me, for sure. Do you have, are you gonna visit Ohio State as well? Uh, yeah, I think the fourth or July fourth. Uh, I think it's a, like a month away, something like that. What do you look for when you take an official visit? Um, just what I said about him. Uh, just like. Uh, my relationship with the coaches, just seeing everything, how campus is, uh, how does it feel to be there? I feel like, does it feel like home, stuff like that. Who's Sonny Styles got on campus this week for the football team? Have you talked to him at, with him at all? What's he uh, He loves it. I mean, he always loved it here, so it's great. I'm pretty I'm, uh, proud of him. What has he, he said about what it's like to be officially an Ohio State athlete? Uh, I don't know. I don't really talk to him. Oh, okay. That'd be bad. I just know he likes it here, stuff like that. He's excited. Has he tried to recruit you here at all? Nah. Have you talked to any of the current recruits, whether it's George or Austin, about their why they made their decision, or like what have they told you about what being a committed Ohio State is like? Uh, I mean, I really talked to him that much about it, to be honest with you. I mean, George always tried to recruit me, tell him say, "Hey, you team," but we haven't really talked that much about it. And as as a Central Ohio guy, I'm sure you talk about this a lot. Like there are some guys that 
they want to play close to where they're from. There's some guys that want to go out and, and make their name somewhere else. What is that like for you trying to make a decision like that? Because obviously you have the option to stay here. You have options to go, you know, anywhere. Like, uh, what, what is that pro thought process like? Uh, I mean, to be honest, for me, it doesn't matter uh, distance or anything like that. Uh, I just like where it fits for me, with the best opportunity for me to do what I want to do. And, and one more thing about versatility. I mean, obviously, it seems like college basketball is going through that process of, you know, they're getting guys that are, like to guard one through four. And it seems like you've kind of grown into that that versatile option. Ohio State seems to like it, too. Is that something that came natural to you? Is that something that you had to kind of learn and kind of grow into? Uh, learn grow into because when I was probably – First, uh, not first grade, uh, freshman year, um, I was not versatile, kind of like a post player. Yeah. So my coach always told me, Coach Sue always told me to be versatile and work towards that so I could uh, get everything and Coach would love it. Why, why, yeah, why is it important? Um, just so if I'm on the court, I can do one through four, guard one through four, play any position that need me to play. Just ask about July. Uh, if you guys play well in Kansas City, you'll be in the Peach Team. Just mm national stage for that event just what uh, what are you guys looking forward to with that uh i think we need two more games to fully get in um but the more games we win the less competition we play when we first start yeah. so that's where our goal is